Hello, on the go wrestling Q and A. I'm here with the mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart. How are you feeling tonight? You know, Jason, I feel great. Don't jinx me now. Everybody's going, Jimmy, you look so young. Jimmy, you look so good. I said, don't jinx me, whatever you do, man. But it's a great night tonight, pouring down rain outside. Five or 600 people in here for this great show tonight. Wonderful tribute tonight for the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes and Buddy Landell. It's been awesome. The fans are so great, and all of them love WWE. They're WWE Universe fans. So how long have you been in the wrestling business? Over 32 years. I started in Memphis, Tennessee. From there, I went to New York for 10 years. The WCW, back to New York. I'm kind of like a pimple on prom night. It's hard to get rid of Jimmy Hart. So how was it filming Legends House? Legends House was probably the greatest thing I've ever done in this business. With Rowdy Roddy Piper, Tony Atlas, Hacksaw Jim Duggan, of course, Pat Patterson, Hillbilly Jim, Mean Gene, you know, the list goes on and on and on. It's, it's one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. So what was your inspiration to become a wrestling manager? Well, I always loved wrestling. Uh, when I was growing up, a little about nine, ten years old, my Uncle JB would take me to Mississippi every year for a vacation, you know, for t a summer, you know, when summer was out. So I went I started watching wrestling down there. I loved it. When I went on the road with the Gentries, no matter what city I was in, I'd always stick around and, and watch TV in the mornings. If I was in Florida, I'd watch the American Dream Dusty Rose. If I was in Carolina, I'd watch the Ric Flair. And of course, if I was in Memphis at the time, it'd be Jerry Lawler. So I've always loved it. Had a million set a record with the Gentries, but I never know I'd wind up in the greatest business in the world, professional wrestling. So how was it in getting inducted into the Hall of Fame? The Hall of Fame was unbelievable. I think when they called me, they said, Jimmy, we're going to induct you in the Hall of Fame. I thought they were calling Bret Hart or Jim Neidhart or somebody. I went, me? I couldn't believe it. It was a great honor. Do you like do you like playing the heel or the face? You know what? I just like being Jimmy Hart. However the people love me or hate me, I just if it wasn't for the fans, we wouldn't be sitting there. But I just got to tell you, man, thank you for interviewing me tonight. What a great crowd. I love you. Keep on dancing, okay? Yep. Thank you, baby. Yep, that was uh, Mouth of the South, Jimmy Hart, Hall of Famer, on the Go Wrestling Q&A, Jason Evel signing out.